Hey glam girls and guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Eniyade, I hope you stay. And we need to talk. Also, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for supporting and actually engaging with my content. I'm really happy to see that people are liking it. Okay, we've been growing little by little. The glam girl and guy community is slowly growing and we're gonna take over the world, okay? I'm just kidding. But I'm just very excited to see that people are actually enjoying my content. This is just a little thank you, you know? I should, you should always show appreciation. Let's talk about the rise of gold diggers. This whole trend of dating for money, and let's really get into it. Let's talk about why hypergamy is getting confused for gold digging. You guys know I like to start off with facts first. According to the Oxford Dictionary, a gold digger is a person who forms a relationship with another purely to extract money from them. We know that this is someone who is purely in a relationship with someone for monetary benefit, okay? They don't care about nothing else. And now let's define hypergamy. So hypergamy is the action of marrying or forming sexual relationships with a person of a superior sociological or educational background. Hypergamy and gold digging kind of get confused because I feel like there's such a thin line in between the two. Let me let the cat out of the bag. I'm part of the hypergamy community, okay? I'm a proud member. <laughs> So a hypergamous person is interested in the person that they are dating. They only choose to date people that are better or well off, um, someone who's doing better than them. For me, being successful is literally, that's the standard, okay? I feel like all of a sudden, everybody wants to date a billionaire, okay? Or a millionaire. I'm seeing, you know, all of these bloggers and all of these people getting successful, teaching other women how to date rich men. I personally love i love sheer seven um who else i love dash beauty there's a couple other ladies i'll put them here that i like watching just because on top of everything that they put out there i think they're really funny so i feel like this is becoming a trend right because we have all of these youtubers all of these tiktokers and all of these social media influencers that talk about dating up the problem with this trend is that people are taking it out of proportion so now they're solely focused on the monetary part that they forget the other qualities when it comes to actually dating somebody and actually building with someone there's so many other qualities that you have to look out for besides the money the money is the standard i recently saw a video on tiktok this guy he was basically interpreting what it's like dating in this generation i need some money bad for guys right now it's become such a personality trait that people forget how to be real people and i think social media has a big play on this the girls are tired and we're switching it up right and we're actually requiring more from people but it's getting misinterpreted some people are okay with 50 50 some people want to be fully provided for the amount of people that want to be fully you know provided for is getting bigger and bigger and it's kind of like raising the standard and making it harder for 50 50 guys to find somebody to date i'm going to talk about the reason i agree and don't agree with this rise of hypergamy i agree with it because i am already a hypergamous woman i'm nigerian so it's very normal to marry someone who is doing better than you i think it's more of americans are getting surprised by this whole hypergamy thing so it seems like gold digging when in reality this is very normal and this is actually something that has always happened especially in the old old ages right when people want to get married they're going to marry somebody better than them they're going to marry someone with better social status more money maybe a long line of generational wealth whatever the case may be whoever you're dating or whoever you end up with for the rest of your life should have some impact on your life because at the end of the day love is the bare minimum but it takes a lot more than that to sustain a successful relationship and um, actually build with somebody bradley also talked about it as well he was talking about how it's kind of dumb to date someone who can't even take care of you it's dumb and i don't know why we're making people feel bad for wanting you know date up or want better for themselves people say gold diggers gold diggers gold diggers you gotta watch out for gold diggers why do you gotta watch out for gold diggers. Do you want to date stupid people? Stupid people sit there and date broke people. I'm single. I'm gonna go pick somebody. I know. 
I'm going to pick this fool over here that hasn't worked in two years and can't scrape up enough money to get gas for his car to pick me up. That's who I'm going to fall in love with and have a baby with. Why would you do that? By the way, these are called standards. You just raise your standards and then you're not dating the bums anymore. You're dating the winners. Why? Because that's one of your standards. And when someone says, you're a gold digger, tell them to kiss your shiny gold ass. So I do agree with the trend because I feel like it's raising the standard and I think that it is benefiting both parties. Now the reason I do not agree with this trend is because now hypergamy is kind of getting mixed up with gold digging. People are starting to forget the other qualities that you have to look for when you're dating a guy or when you're trying to date somebody with mean. People end up in these abusive relationships because they were really there for the monetary reasons and now you're stuck with a guy that has a lot of money but he treats you like trash. So that is why I don't agree with the trend. I also feel like it creates unrealistic expectations for income margins. The expectations for income is through the roof. For me, if I'm gonna date a guy, you know, I would want him to be successful, financially stable, you know, with a little extra sprinkle sprinkle on the side to ball out. That would be great. But I think it's so funny how people think it is so easy to date a billionaire, even a millionaire, okay? How many billionaires do you actually know? Like how many billionaires do you have in your contact, right? I think people forget how much a billion is. A billion is a lot of money. And I know that, you know, the type of people that I decide to hang out with um, and the places that I put myself in, it's not impossible to find a billionaire. It's absolutely not. But I just think it's creating this unrealistic standard of how much money is needed to actually take care of a family or take care of your significant other. $200,000 a year is a lot of money to actually make a lot of money that you can invest with. Like I said, I'm not here to bash or be a pick me because I already know I can see those comments like she's such a pick me like no girl. Like, I like the ballers too but to me it's just let's just come down to earth for a second okay and realize that we can still get all these things without having that million dollar or billion dollar title this all ties back into social media it's toxicity and this comparison culture that we are inhabiting just remember to be a good person at the end of the day if you are hypergamous someone who is more successful is already the standard make sure while you're talking to all these successful people that you're thinking about the other qualities but yeah that's it. That's all I have to say. This is a little rant, honestly. I kind of wanted to just talk about it because I'm seeing this rise of everybody wanting to date up and I'm here for it. I think that it's it's rising the standard. It's also good and bad with everything. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I know what I am, I'm not here to judge anybody else. I am team hypergamy. Let me know in the comments what team you are a part of. Are you a part of the 50-50 team? Are you a part of the hypergamous team? Are you solo and you're just tired of everybody you don't even want to date anymore? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye glam girls and guys.